Buffalo. Bill, do you have a white hat that you could put on backwards? Oh, your hat is white backwards. Excellent. <laughs> oh yeah, really get really get that widow peak popping through. That looks nice. It just got trimmed today. Leave him alone. Oh, just... I look good, dude. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me it Personally, I like Tell the me Wolver- I like the Wolverine beard. <laughs> Twenty million. Tell me I, I like the Wolverine beard you had going, where it like squared off at the chin. You know, the other day, yeah. but you know. Oh, it's the fine. chin goes. Re- yeah, it was real long when I start pulling. Ah, went six weeks without a haircut. The beard was looking super long. I went a little short this time. Oof. I trim my own beard. I don't trust anybody else. Mm-hmm. Uh, see, when you only have one arm, you can't. You gotta sh- shave lefty. Can't fucking shave lefty. Yeah. Can't even shave my balls leftily, let alone my face. Ever heard of Colonelingus? <laughs> have you ever heard Cunnilingus? That's what I do to your mother every night. Ooh. And he's oh. on the board. <laughs> he's on the board. <laughs> oh, and he's gone from the ten percent to uh, Dude, some truly. <laughs> What a mixture that, he's got. Uh, what a mixture he's got. Tonight. I'm going with the worst ones, the mango ones next. I don't envy your morning. I don't envy your morning. <laughs> well, when you're not working for a living right now, you're just sitting here. Not collecting working the checks. for a living. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more, Bill. Say no more. <laughs> Say no more. Not working for a living. Collecting I don't checks. sleep anyways, dude. Try sleeping in this fucking sleep. I don't fucking sleep. I figure I'm just going to drink myself till I pass out. I wouldn't sleep I wake in, up in Queens the morning. Landing, all of the gunshots and noises and screams and and we hear the ar- armies disband dismantling like what the fuck yeah you have I haven't no had an protection army in a while. i know that's what Clint we crack motherfucker <laughs> you only have yourself you only got one hand how you yeah. got double pistol fire yeah when it comes when it comes to something i can hold a I can hold a gat in the right and gat in the left Click but how you fix. how you gonna th- how you gonna throw the bullets at them how you gonna I'll throw, throw the bullets with the left threaten with the uh broken right got it Got it. I'm sure the the big pussy cast won't give it away. Yeah, I'll take that shit off. Got you it. know how quick I can take this off? It's like two seconds. Show us. Yeah, go, go. One, two, two. Oh, mm. three, four. Dead. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, look at that oh, range of motion. Very nimble to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Says I can't shave. Looks very. Yeah. Looks very nimble. Who's your insurance provider? He's I can move my pretty nimble. I'm allowed to, to move elbow down. I can't move the shoulder up. So if I have to move, but up, I have to pick it up with my left hand. <laughs> but I'm allowed to go shoulder down. Shit like this. I go back to the doctor Monday. Start physical therapy right after. Right on track to go back soon. Unless until the setback. Until golf week one, April 14th, 15th. We'll say. I did not golf until all three of us golfed when Rich came up last year with my shoulder last yeah, year. Yeah, we know because you played like shit. Yeah, I was really drunk, dude. No. <laughs> surprise. What a surprise. Uh, speaking of that, cheers, boys. Welcome to Simple Mind Social Hour. <clears throat> boys. Cheers. Um, what are we talking? Oh, we're, are we gonna we're gonna do the event in history? Well, it's up to Bill. I mean, I think we should do Patriots first. Yeah, of course. See. Okay. No, well, right. I have the. I don't care. You pick. No, let's shit. let's do it. Fine, Bill. Uh, the the producer has decided, and for the listeners, you're gonna have you're gonna have to uh, listen to some Motley Crue, and we'll tell you what we're talking about after after the break. Welcome to the show. I like what you did there. It's called cool. it's called a tease. <laughs> but in a podcast, you just hit fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> and now that they're here, so welcome to the show. Um, I think this show is brought to you by White Birch, so we're going to say it is. White Birch Brewing in Astro, New Hampshire. Uh, Bill is representing them on the hat and in body, mind, and spirit after a fruitful visit down there to the tap room. Had yourself a time there, did you, Bill? Yes, sir. <laughs> Drink a lot, yeah. A little drunk. Drink a lot of uh, high percent IPAs today. I was drinking a double IPA, eight and a half percent. Oof, feeling great. <laughs> I like guys that I like guys that describe beers by their ABV. How was the beer? Eight and a half percent. Great. great. No, it, no, it, for no, it's IP, fine. F- you know on. what? It's for good. an IPA. Great aftertaste. Like you got to remember, like I'm drinking a lot of IPAs in my life. They're one of my favorite beers outside of Guinness. So if I'm going to a bar, normally I order an IPA. 
you get that aftertaste. I'll tell you what, Monkey Fist from Shipyard is a double IPA, and it has the worst aftertaste I've ever heard. Like we'll beat my that. We'll life. beat that shipyard if you ever if you want. Yeah, to because no, we, but I'm just did. saying, like that, like I it just feel you want a smooth, you want a very smooth IPA, and I was drinking a double IPA. Um, the guy with the the wrestling can, I forget the name of it, Ray. You probably remember that what I was drinking all day today. It's very very fucking smooth. Goes down like water, baby. Go there down you to go. Nashville. White Birch, or, if you uh want the you want the address, Got you go baby? go ahead, Bill. You're on a roll. <laughs> 460 Amherst Street, Nashua, New Hampshire, baby. Why don't you cl- why don't you close it up? Go down and get some beer and some merch. Got this nice hat. Got some nice. Almost tie. made the it. The simple mind boys sent you. <laughs> oh, I forgot it. I'm sorry. I almost I... made it. We'll get you the copy one day, Bill. That was just off the top of your it's head. It's in the well, email. Don't worry about it's it. It's in the email. You'll get it one day. Gave it a good shot. Log on. Um, uh, let's talk some NFL football, some Patriots football. We, as the day we're recording this, I don't know when this will be released. We never know in these social hours. That's the whole point. But it is February 18th. Carson Wentz was traded today to the Indianapolis Colts. We are keeping an eye on the NFL quarterback carousel because, as we all know, the Patriots are in desperate need of a quarterback. And if the reports are true that Cam Newton is still in the running, then I am going to shoot my right shoulder off and get disability and club checks. And drink myself to death because that will suck. Um, so today, tonight, let's give our top 10 best case scenarios for quarterbacks. The New England Patriots can realistically acquire in the offseason through via free agency trade or the draft. Obviously, um, producer Ray. Yes, sir. Is this more of a round table? Yes, uh, I think it should be a round table. We all throw out like our or 10th we'll go backwards and then i'll write it a list down and then we'll have an overall list okay and so we're, we're gonna start to at 10 and then we'll we'll get our way uh up to one and we'll just all throw some some names yeah out we'll just hat, do it like 10th and 9th we'll just something. do it like we did with the nba players that was my thought when i shot this idea out don't get rape produce a bill on this show motherfucker so Ray, do you want you want to start at ten? We'll each have we'll each, <laughs> we'll each give I our ten. You. I hate you guys. Just... I fucking hate you. I, hate you. <laughs> I asked you to turn your hat around backwards so we all have oh, backwards shit. white hats. You want to be a producer? Hold on, hold on. Because you were doing the white birch one, I had to turn it around. The top uh, of his head promo. Was getting, the top get of the, the head promo, was getting bitch. cold. Hey, I was just. I've never seen this face. sponsor. I've never Can seen I not play so this red. Sponsor? Mm, uh, Bill, yeah. why do you? What? You don't remember Philadelphia at all? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you you want to uh, you want to start us off then, Bill? Who who would be your tenth pick uh, if you were the last the last uh, 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 on the pile of shit? I guess for the Patriots too. Although there's a lot of names <laughs> after ten that would be really shitty. So um, why don't you start us off, Bill? Who do you have at number ten? Dak Prescott. Okay. We're going as the one you don't want the most at 10. I just don't think it. I'm okay. thinking it's the most. Uh, when I throw this out, I think the most realistic option for quarterbacks. I hear you. Can I, I don't, be true? I don't have Dak Prescott on my list because of that. Hmm. And. Okay. So you and I were thinking. That, yeah. We're, so you. All right. So this is why I have. I have Dak at 10. Because I think the price that it's going to cost, you heard, you heard rumors that he wanted over forty million with Dallas. He's coming off a completely, utterly destroyed knee. So I mean, leg. it's not worth a leg. He he tore his whole entire leg. So I mean, <laughs> it's an option, but I just think it's down an option. If he was available at a cheaper price than I think he's going to ask for, it, I would move him up on my list. But as of players on my list right now, I have him at sitting at 10. Would you trade 15 for him? Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> Only because of his age. Because he, I mean, was he 26? Is he going to play this year, though? Yes. So is there a wonderful if, thing? If, you, if, you, if you pup him and he comes back week six or se- uh, week seven or eight, say, because I think he has to uh, miss the first six. He might be worth the first. At there's a, a new at, pup though. There's there's like a three or four week pup too. But either way, I get your point. Um, yeah, I don't know that the price the price on Dak Prescott 
is really, really, really high for Dak Prescott. Yeah. Dak Prescott is not Deshaun Watson and he wants Deshaun Watson money. That's why he doesn't make my list. I mean, I get, I, I understand how good he is, but I, I just don't think it's a realistic possibility. So, well, that, um, like I said, Rich, that's why he's 10 on. Yeah, I get it. So let me give you my 10th. It's, it's different. And then we'll go to mm-hmm. you, Ray. Jacoby Brissett. This is for me like a last case scenario, honestly. There's a couple guys below this. If I mean, you're going to have to pick him out from the Colts. He's still back up there. No, he's, oh, a, he's, free free agent. Agent. he's a free agent. Okay, That's why I threw it out earlier is you take Jacoby. He's a free agent. So it's going to be familiarity to the system. He's shown that he has some winning qualities. Obviously, his skill set is pretty mediocre. At he's best. Cam Newton with a better arm right now. Um. Yeah, I can't. Well, looking uh, newsflash, Cam Newton didn't make my goddamn list either. So uh, I take Jacoby Brissett over him in a, in a heartbeat. So that that's where I go. I'm not very. I would not be very excited about a Jacoby Brissett uh, sighting in New England. Whatever that tells you about the rest of my list, he lands at number ten for me. Raymond, so uh, I have a tie for ninth. So I'll give you one. Uh, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! It's your own tie list. For nine, it's your own fucking list. <laughs> well, it's like one of those things where it's like either or. Like I wouldn't. They're both whatever. So uh, Marcus just Mariota. Pick one. No, Marcus just Mariota. Pick- Marcus Mariota. <laughs> for ninth. <laughs> Marcus Mariota. I was born at work today. I made a list. How drunk are you? We you all made lists. Me I just shit, don't. Man. How do you? How do you? How do you create a tie by yourself? Because I was like, yeah, they're both like in the same spot. So yeah, Marcus well, Mariota. Give us the other one. You know, give I, us the other Rich, one. I have a three-way tie for seventh. You want my first one, or you want my last third? Uh, the other one would be trading for Matt Ryan. That would be okay. my other one. <laughs> okay. Okay, and and those guys got tied somehow. Um. All right. What? What, what what constituted a tie between those two drastically different players? Because they're meh, whatever. They, be the whole bottom of your list, meh, whatever? Yeah, whatever. They're better than Cam Newton. But they're not like in the next echelon up, you know? Here's what I here's what I have to say. Matt Ryan, no way. Matt Ryan didn't make my list either. That guy's a born fucking loser. He also comes with the price tag. And he's 35, 36, whatever he is. Nope, I'm way out of Matt These Ryan. These are realistic expectation Matt Ryan is not a, first of all I'm Matt just saying I, no for going further th- this is realistic in like, your mind you just had a tie no 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 I'm asking list. you <laughs> well yeah it's a tie <laughs> between Marcus <laughs> Mariota so and Matt Ryan I'm just asking I'm just I'm just trying to clarify I, I was having a little trouble with these Sunday socials so I'm just trying to clarify I know here. you do that's why I love them that's why I love them yeah I said we when we put All the right, parameters a sure. realistic situation I Pat Mahomes didn't make my list Dak Prescott didn't make my list uh Mariota probably should that's why and, I'm like wondering who the hell's on your list Mariota probably should have in a realistic scenario but I don't want Marcus fucking Mariota what is this Marcus Mariota smoke now do people remember how bad wasn't Marcus on my Mariota fucking list that's Marcus of Mariota blows he sucks he can't throw he can't read a defense he's not good he gets injured every other play Marcus Mariota is not a good fucking quarterback what is this talk about Marcus goddamn Mariota I don't get it not to mention we went over the uh, the report out of uh, who fucking went, who did it uh, from the globe? Ben Volen did went over what Trolling it would, Volen. what it would cost to get Mariota if he was actually good, which is upwards of 20 million. So you're going to make him redo a contract. You have to sign him for three years. You want Marcus Mariota here for three years at 14, 15 a year. Fuck that noise. Nope. I'm out. He didn't make my list. Neither did Matt Ryan. He's old and overpaid. Well, then who but, do you have at nine? Sure. I can who go for you that. Have at 10? Did you I told your- you my 10 oh, Jacoby oh, Brissett. Uh, at number nine, I have Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold. Now you might see a little bit of a uh, pattern here. Uh, is a reclamation reclamation project drafted third overall, right? Or second overall by the jets. Third uh, has all of the physical tools. Obviously mentally is broken. The jets broke this kid. The unrealistic Adam part. Yeah, the unrealistic Broken. part is here seeing a trade between the Patriots and the Jets. Obviously, that's that's unrealistic, but that that is kind of waning a little bit in, in the, the last couple of years. Um, so, in terms of who I'd like to see, I want to see a kid like that. I want to see a kid like that again. If Sam Darnold walks their door, I'm not going to get excited. I think you need a lot of luck and a lot of good things to happen for Sam Darnold to be a good quarterback for you next year or in the years to come. However, I like the upside there. And he's 22 or 23 or something. Yeah, he's 22. really, really young. Yeah, he's, yeah he's, Bill says it on every show. Go ahead, Bill. Uh, <laughs> Derek Carr. 
number nine. He's, you know, you're hearing rumors, him or Mariota are available. I think the the bigger contract is, you know, Derek Carr. There's been rumors John Gruden's wanted to trade him for at least a year. He's been infatuated with Marcus Mariota since Mariota and Winston were drafted. That five guy. Years, five years, six years ago. What it right? Six years ago, five, whatever it was. What is the infatuation with Marcus Mariota? I don't know, but you know Gruden likes him. But I just think if if, if Derek Carr is available as your ninth best quarterback for me, I, I, I think if you just saw Carson Wentz go for a third and a conditional second that could turn into a first – you could probably get Derek Carr for a third and maybe a fifth or sixth. No, you are way over overrating De- uh, Carson. Carson Wentz sucks. What? Yeah, what but so does Derek Carr. About? No, no I'm just doesn't. saying. Derek Carr threw for over seventy percent this year for the, oh, 30 over thirty four thousand yards. He had a fucking awesome statistical year. He's just a pud. Look, Derek Carr is six on my list. Spoiler alert. All Derek right, I got Carr him at is nine. A win. He's a two. He's nine, two first round picks to get Derek Carr. That's what they want, and that's probably what they'll get. Not where's he on Patriots. your list, Rich? Six. Six. I got and him at nine. On? Nice. I got him at nine. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I, look, again, this is a hard list because I think as Patriots fans, we're all going to be really spoiled um, and say, you know, I'm not excited about that guy. I, Derek Carr throws one of the nicest balls in the league, it, but at times he also throws it right to the other fucking defender or tries to run and fumbles it without anybody – touching him he, he's just kind of got a little bit of a loser streak in him and i think he wears mascara so i don't know but he's like, well he's he did a, cry he's nine on my list cr- because when he got sacked he <laughs> cried on national tv so i couldn't i couldn't put him up more than that's fair i might have had to drop him down if i remember the tears <laughs> so he's seven for you <laughs> he cried on national <laughs> oh, TV. no keep him at six it makes it he's makes at it six cool. for me go nice. ahead ray uh where are we at oh you're so you eight past your tie Number eight. Should we expect any more ties in this? No more ties. Okay, no more ties. Thank you. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick at eight. Coming off, he's a journeyman quarterback. He's played for every other AFC's team. Why not make it? And why not finish off the AFC's and come to the Patriots? Viable arm. He, he can throw it. But, yes, like Derek Carr, we just said, he throws to the other team a lot. But he can throw the ball. So, helping out maybe develop some of these receivers like Jacoby Myers and all that, because uh, if Ryan Fitzpatrick's a quarterback, you're not going to get any big name free agent wide receivers coming. Can way. I, can I give you my eight and then seven as a, Only very, ties. as a very realistic situation. If you listen to any of the pundits, can we give bills eight and then you can do eight Fine. and seven? Fine. You want me to go? I'm on eight. Yeah. Jacoby Brissett here. For me, I just think, you know, Rich, you had him at 10. I want to move him up a little bit. So you have Jacoby Brissett above Derek Carr? For most realistic options, I do, because okay. I don't think the – because when I said this, I said I am, I'm ranking it, for me, is the most realistic yeah. option for the Patriots. You yeah. know, not how all of us want the Patriots to get. I just think it was the most realistic option. So I think J- Jacoby, I had him, honestly, in my first list, I'm, I had him as high as number two. But then I kind of I kind of backtracked a little why bit. Everyone la- why does everyone laugh at me? Listen, did you hear what Bill just said? Yeah, it was very dumb. The whole the list is best case scenario that is also realistic. You can skew that line a bit. That that line's kind of gray. So yeah, maybe Jacoby Brissett but hold is on. number I two just realistically, said, but you do but you I want backed Jacoby him up Brissett and I have fucking... him I have him here at Got eight. It. You're at eight. Fem- okay. And we know what Jacoby Brissett okay. is. Yes. Yeah, whatever. Go ahead. Got it. Uh, eight and my- seven for you. This is if you listen to anybody talking about what the Patriots will do, should do, this is what a good majority of them are talking about number eight, Mac Jones, number nine, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Don't be surprised if you see them both on the team next year. Hope Mac Jones at 15. No, 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 no. Mac Jones at 15. No, but if they can get back into late in the first or early in the second, I'm okay with, with taking a shot at Mac Jones. Um, and then Ryan Fitzpatrick for all the reasons you said, Ray, he's a veteran. He, he knows what to do. You know, they can maybe temper some of his stupid mistakes, uh, at the wrong time with some offensive play calling by McDaniels. But um, he's a guy that can hold down the ship and actually throw the ball as opposed to Cam Newton hucking pickle jars into the ground. Mm-hmm. That's true. Uh, so there's my you, have, you have Mac Jones at seven? You said, Rich? Mac Jones is at eight. At eight? And Ryan Fitzpatrick at seven. They could be flip-flop. I could have a tie at seven. No. Uh, Eyes are beautiful, baby. <laughs> but I, would, I, have I, think... Mac jo- I have Mac Jones at seven. Honestly, because I think he's a second rounder. I don't think, you know, he's being overvalued as much as I fucking hate his guts. 
I don't think he's going to go drafted in the first round. But if you can move up in the second round and get Mac Jones, I have him right here as best case scenario is Mac Jones. I have him at seven. My idea of Mac Jones on, on this list is you have another veteran. And he doesn't start the year. I. That's why Ryan says Patrick is right next to him. So, I have Brian Horry for that. Ooh. Ugh, no, Brian Horry did not make my list. <clears throat> he didn't make mine either. I'm just. I, he signed, I think, though. That's a problem. I think he's coming back no matter what for cheap. Bill, I think he – realistic option, he's number one because he's realistic not going option, anywhere. Brian Hoyer starting the league. He, he's they, not he going anywhere. He's a healthy scratch after the fucking Kansas I, I, Yeah, season. but you just think about that COVID thing, bullshit. He's going to be the third quarterback on this team. <laughs> I get it. All right, my six was Derek Carr. Ray, where are you? Uh, I'm at seven, so let me give you my seven right, real quick, and ahead. then I'll give you six. So seven, I have Jacoby Brissett. You know, as a system coming back here, at least you don't have to teach someone a new dog and new tricks kind of thing. He's the same old dog, same old tricks. So, yeah. <laughs> Who uh, – you had a tie with uh, Matt Ryan and, and – Marcus Mariota. And then who was your eight? Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Okay. So you like Brissett over Fitzpatrick. Yeah. Younger. Why wouldn't you? Younger guy. Could yeah, I be mobile? Yeah. Is Ryan Fitzpatrick that good? No. Okay. No, he's not. The uh, bottom, so, these bottom of the lists are not that fun. Uh, for six, I have Zach Wilson out of BYU get drafting him. It's a long shot, but they'd have to trade up because obviously his stock is rising, but that's who I have at six. Zach Wilson out of BYU. What an absolute bananas draft this is going to be. Yep. Uh, all four of these guys could go top four picks or they could all, you know, you could have three of them drop. You know, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of talent on the top of the draft defense and offense. And you got um, called four, three, four quarterbacks that could go at, at any point in time, in that top four or five picks, or they could mm-hmm. all drop. Like I said, it's going to be really, really interesting to see. Um, Bill, who do you have at six? Can you go to Rich first? I already, already gave, gave him oh, Derek Carr. Shit. Initially, I had Drew Locke here because I think Drew Locke's going to be available from Denver. But I'm making my I'm, oh well, hold on, let him change it because he just you did. Oh, no, got, I just I just We've said got a draft day. We've got a draft day. Draft day. Oh, we got a trade. We got a trade I, on the I said initially I had Derek. Uh, Drew Locke here. Oh, I understand. I'm, He's giving us the insight. He was talking. He was at White Birch uh, behind the bar going over his list. And uh, I Dave's was. Daughter I swear to God. Convinced I him out of Drew Locke. Thank you, Dave's daughter. Because that's I'm a stupid going, fucking uh, pick. Matt Ryan here at number six. I think he could potentially be available. And um, <laughs> I think with Atlanta, you know, and if you can get trade for him, second, third round pick, I just think with Atlanta trying to rebuild there. You know, they, they've said he's not available, but I think of the right offer, you might be able to get him. And I just think it'd be a good fit in the offenses. And especially if the rumors are true where you're trying to build the skill positions, you know, before you try to build the quarterback at this point, I just think get, get go, go, go out and get someone. And I got Matt Ryan. That's I can't tell you how fucking bad I don't want. First of all, he's not a good fit. He's never ran an offense like this. His offense are Kyle Shanahan where is where he had MVP season where it was play fake and throw the ball deep. He's never done a West coast offense. He sucks at throwing short. His accuracy blows. He's 36. He's expensive. They're not going to trade for him. Matt Ryan should be off your table, but we'll see. Number six, Matt Ryan, Bill. I would have taken drew lock over Matt Ryan at number six. Mm. Drew lock made my list. I just didn't know where to put him. And then I, I picked a couple guys over him and then he didn't fit going lower. I had to throw him out, but he's going to be Drew available. Lockwood but he, he is nothing. available. <laughs> he's available for Denver, though. There's rumors that they they want to get rid of him. He has the talent. I think he looked good, not this year in 2020, but t- 2019. He he played pretty well for Denver as a rookie. So I mean, he's got balls. He's got he's got balls. He's, he's got, got a little got bit Moxie. of talent. You know, give him a good coach and Belichick and a good offensive mind and Josh McDaniels. He could be valuable, so we'll see. Maybe. I don't know what the difference is between him and Stidham, but uh mm, Stidham's got a hotter wife. There you go. Win. There you go. Win Stidham. Stidham didn't make my list. Raven? Yeah. Where are we at? Uh number five. Who wants to go? I can go. Okay. Gardner Actually... Minshew. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm like I said, I just think it's the most realistic options. This is what I'm going for. I just think it's the most realistic options for the Patriots. I think Gardner, he's going to miss, uh, he's going to lose out. You know, he lost his starting job last year to a fucking shit quarterback, Huntley or whatever the stupid name was. He got benched late. They're going to obviously going to draft Trevor Lawrence, the number one pick. They're, they, 
I don't think he has a future. Obviously, he doesn't have a future in Jacksonville. I just think he's going to be one of those projects. Take a chance on him right now. Give him some at least a little bit of talent. you got a decent running game. If you surround him with some wide receivers and, and tight ends and free agency, he's got a little talent. And he could throw the football. So I got him I got him right here in the middle for me. I had Gardner Minshew on my list at one point, and then I started making my list, and he did not make it. And his name is Sex, not Gardner Minshew. Oh, dude, I love dude. The, the mullet he's got and the fucking stash. The cut off jeans so and the power. stash. Oh god. He looks and like he, Uncle Rico. He'd be fun. He'd be fun. The, I think we should make the point before we finish here that all of these options are better than Cam Newton, unless one of you jamokes, uh, Mr. Realistic. No, he, he didn't make my Mr. list. Mr. Re- nope. Realistic nope, down nope, here. Nope. If you're I going by realism, you should be at number one. Cam Newton. Wow. I have 34. Um Ray, do you want do you want the honors? Or do you want me to go? I'll go. Okay. So I've been saying this for a year. I've been watching game film. I watched all of his college games uh, at North Dakota State. Trey Lance. Bill's favorite pick. Yeah. Bill's yeah, Trey Lyles. Best Lance quarterback. In, best quarterback in the draft. Yeah, Corey best Lance. quarterback in the draft. Billy Bombs. I've been saying for years. I've I watched all his college games. But yeah, Trey Lance looked great here in New England. Not the first time insight. I said that. I've been talking about him since the summer. <laughs> Suck my dick, Raymond. <laughs> well, thank you. I don't have time. I'm the one that us. insulted you there, Bill. My number five pick uh, is the Rocket himself, Andy Dalton. <laughs> Red Rocket. I think he's going unforgotten in this quarterback carousel, but Andy Dalton looked uh, good, if not real good at times, with the Cowboys. Same as he, as he did in Cincinnati for a number of years. Sometimes he's. Or after the CTE. Sometimes he's good. Um, yeah, it's all this. It's all it's all a blend. The amount of concussions that guy has. It's just uh, just blur. look another milk dud quarterback that can jump into a system and throw the ball and hand the ball off. But he was reported to the Patriots all last year. If you want to talk about realistic and a guy that could throw it, uh, Andy Dalton should be on the list. He's younger than Ryan Fitzpatrick. I think he probably brings you the same thing. So give me a, give me Dalton at five. Number four. Bill, why don't you go? You, you look puzzled. I'll go, Bill. You look puzzled. I, no, I I'm, got it. I got it. Okay. Alex Smith. I think Alex Smith coming out of Washington, comeback player of the year. Show a little bit of toughness. He got a little banged up. But, again, it's his first season coming back from a fucking catastrophic knee injury. You know, they, they I, I think more Allen there in Washington is the younger quarterback option. And I think, you know, he's a Ron Rivera's boy. I think Kyle Allen, is that his name? Whatever his stupid fucking name is. <laughs> it's just so I mean he's not Alex Smith's not guaranteed to be signed with Washington. I think he's a steady veteran. I just think he's anything better than Cam Newton. I just think you know he's set I think, up. Sorry, go, I thought you were. Done. No, he's he's set up for Mahomes, you know, and Colin Kaepernick before Kaepernick turned into the shitty quarterback he was. But I just think he's you know that's a veteran. I want a veteran leadership at this point. I just think as I'm going up my list, and I think Alex Smith is a guy that. Any team could be proud to have, and you know, comeback player of the year and that knee injury. Give him; he's still got talent. He he could throw the ball, and especially if he can get some talent around him. Four for me. He can't throw the ball. They actually had to substitute him out of the game because he couldn't throw the ball. They were actually talking about uh, platooning him in the game in the playoff game because he can't throw the ball because his body is broken. He's injured. He's fragile. He's old. He, I, you know, look. Everyone respects Alex Smith for what he did, but he's still signed. First of uh, all, Smith. so he's going to. No, I don't think he's signed. He's a free agent. Uh, we'll look that one up. Either way, no, he can't do it. He, he'll, he'll, be, he'll, he'll be the throwing version of Cam Newton. He can't do it anymore. Uh, he won't make it through the season. Wherever he goes, he should be a backup. He are you a better be with. Upon. Hold on, Rich. Are you a better. If you had a better version of Cam Newton with an arm this year. Than Cam Newton that you saw this year, are you a playoff team? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you just said, he, you're he's Cam Newton with an arm, right? Is that what you no, just said? No, he's he's a throwing version of Cam Newton. Yeah, he's not going to be able right, to throw. If we had a th- throwing version of Cam Newton this year, the Patriots playoff team. You don't understand team, what I'm saying. I'm ex- I know what you're saying. Cam Newton's biggest uh, threat was running. He couldn't run, and he can't, he's never been able to throw. He threw worse than he did his entire career this season. Alex Smith's biggest uh, uh, weapon is being able to throw the ball into tight spaces where he knows it's supposed to go. He can't throw the ball anymore. Can't throw the ball downfield. Drew Brees is retiring because he can't throw the ball downfield. Alex Smith might come back. He might not even come back. His body is fucking broken. His body's broken. He's not a free agent. And he's signed with Washington, so you got to trade for him. So 
Uh, Kyle I, Allen is a free agent. I can understand. All right, I it. Give me Kyle Allen. There you go. Kyle Allen can make those. No, it's sorry, young. It's ink. I can't erase ink. <laughs> Bullshit. You, you have crayons. crayons. Just smudge it, you fuck. Oh, good save, Bill. Who do you got it for, I, Rich? I the Mormon you, Mahomes. Zach today. Wilson, trade up and get this guy. If you want to go get a no, guy, go get him. fuck you. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. If you want to trade up a guy, if you want to trade up and go get him, go get him. If you want to tell me Trey Lance is better than Zach Wilson, I'll take your word for it. I don't watch college football that much. But um, but, but the, the bigger point here at number four, if you want to trade up into the top 10, top five and get a quarterback, then – then that's the move. And this should be that lands at like the fourth best case, realistic scenario. You're probably not going to like a couple of these coming up in terms of the realistic possibility of it, but fuck you. I don't care. Um, So drafting, drafting a quarterback to start the league, to start the year lands in my number four spot. Please don't please. If if you draft Zach Wilson, Bill Belichick, you're fucking dead to me. That's cool. Excellent. You're dead to me. I swear Uh, to God. At number, at number four, you, Zach Wilson. At number four, I have the quarterback out of Alabama. Warren cunt. Mac Jones. Give me Mac Jones. Yeah, wow. the hype's I don't know. Too high. Yeah, Saban. but him and Saban, Belichick and Saban are buddies. You know and he's none tough. of those picks have worked, Ray. Never. No. There's never why, been. Why, why stop now? Why stop now? 2021. <laughs> Just fucking keep it rolling. You know he's gonna do it. Law of averages, baby. Something's yep. gotta pan out. I'll go three just because I know time we're up against it. So Dak Prescott. I'd take Dak Prescott, give him a free agent deal. Maybe because of the injury that he just sustained, we'll take a little less instead of 40 million, but 20, 25 million for Dak Prescott. Yeah, I'd do it. The 15 pick and 25 million Dak Prescott. Yeah. He lands in my top three. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Sure. No problem. I would um, do that, but I just I, don't think, I don't, I, I don't think the, it's realistic to me and Bill's point. I don't, I don't know how, I don't know if that gets it done on a couple of levels, but yeah, if that gets it done for sure, for sure. We like that. I like Dak, Dak in that spot. Um, I'll give you a, I'll give you a non-realistic one. Speaking of, uh, but best case scenario was more realistic a couple weeks ago. Aaron Rodgers. Ooh, I like that. I didn't. I did not have him on my list be, because I didn't think it would be realistic. Realistic, neither. If Aaron Rodgers forces the way out of there, what does it take? Two first rounds. A first would, round and Stephon Gilmore. Two first rounds. Done. And Stephon Gilmore. Done. Let's do it. And a, and a second. And a third. Thirty-seven. Don't Doesn't care. matter. Doesn't but matter. I think I, I, if I'm Green Bay, I'm asking for Matthew Stafford return because you have to remember, though, you have to remember the Matthew Stafford deal. One of those picks was to dump a contract. I know, I know, I know. Basically, but, it, but you can, was a first you can still third. ask for that, Rich. You could still ask you for that. And if you're Green Bay, it, you're coming off an NBC MVP season. I mean, you could, ask, you can theoretically ask for three first round draft picks. No, for sure. I, I understand what Aaron Rodgers is, and I understand the realistic possibility of Bill Belichick paying that. No, although he loves Aaron Rodgers. Um, and he paying Aaron Rodgers what he wants. All time, no. didn't he? Yes. How much would he be able to rub that in Brady's goddamn face? If you, you know, the spite would, factor. You want to talk about lot. the spite factor? You want to talk about <laughs> it? What if they traded for Aaron Rodgers this year and they won like two Super Bowls in a row? And he fucking's got a both fingers, yeah. You know, both hands covered in championship rings, and Brady sitting there at seven. Fuck you, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, you got Tom it. Brady, you're dead to me. Go drown <laughs> Again, on the, your uh, fucking yeah, you prick. The uh, realistic uh, situation there is not high, but uh, in terms of a uh, best case scenario, I, I got Rogers at three. Where are we but at? Not, I'm Rambles. at three, right? Yeah, go ahead, Rambles. Uh, Lance. I have him at number three again. He's my favorite quarterback in the draft. I've been I've been talking about him since the su- since the he's summer. Suck. I like I like him here. I think he could be a realistic option, especially I've seen a, a few mock drafts where he's been slipping, and I think if he slips down to fifteen, the Patriots would be stupid not to take him. So I think it's realistic option. I got him at my three pick, please. Number two. Anybody Bill. who thinks that they can that they can predict the quarterback. My number, my, I know it's it, it's so tough, crazy. and that's what we're doing on our list, right? We're trying to predict this. No, I have I, I have Andy Dalton four, at number two. A, give me a starting oh. quarterback from college, Andy I've, Dalton, number two. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I have Andy Dalton up at number two. I I think he would have been a smart choice after Brady left last year. I think they undervalue the quarterback position, especially when you sign Cam Newton for a million and a half bucks, essentially, and with incentives. To see Andy Dalton go for seven million. On a, on a one-year deal, I think the Patriots are stupid not to get him. I think he's got enough talent. He led Cincinnati to, what, six straight or five straight 
uh, playoff burst. I know he didn't win a playoff game, but he still at least got there. I just think with the right coach, because he had Marvin Lewis and whatever in fucking Hugh Jackson and all those other cunts in Cincinnati, I just think if you put him around some better offensive mind and a good running game and a good offensive mind, again, Josh McDaniels, give me number two. I think, again, give me him. I think you can get him for around $15 million. I I think that his floor is what it is. I don't don't think you're getting anything more at Andy Dalton, but you know – you know what you're getting. You're getting a guy that can make some passes. And I don't think the coaches are going to get anything more out of him. They just should put him in a, in a good position to yeah, do which is what he more, does best, yeah. which is what Dallas did. And they had a lot of talent there. So, yeah. yeah Kellen guess. Moore. Kellen Moore, which was a shit-ass quarterback, put him in, him in good position at his offensive coordinator. That's inc- incredible. Incredible. Where are we at? Uh, number two, Richard. Right? Number My two. number two. I, I th- I'm thinking about doing a flip flop here, just based on on the oh, tie? on the realistic possibility of the things. There's a tie. I'm not going to though. Actually, yes, I am. Number two is Deshaun Watson. Oh wow! I, I, al- I also I, spoiler so, alert. I also have Deshaun Watson at two. And number okay, one's Jimmy. Wow! You have to know Jimmy. Number one's Jimmy, Jimmy one. for me Jimmy. too. High five, Jimmy. Right? Hey, all number one. Jimmy. Yeah, I figured we all. I can't. I dude, Watson. I uh, I I didn't have him on my on my list, and there. I know everything you're going to say, Rich. I didn't have him on my list is because I don't think Bill would ever pay the price it's going to cost to get him. I think it's going to cost at least two to three first round draft picks plus some. Uh, yeah. Well, the, the, the report that the last report that I heard was two, uh, three first and a defensive player. So if you do three first and Stefan Gilmore, I still don't think Bill gives that up because again, it's hard to see it. Yeah. But, but if we talked about who mentioned it, Ray, you mentioned it a couple couple shows ago. Um, Bill doesn't want the face of the franchise to be the quarterback. He doesn't think again. And I just think if you're trading three first round draft picks, you're kind of contradicting everything you're kind of saying here, right? Because I wouldn't leave it tra- again. I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, uh, put it uh, uh, against Bill to do that, though. I mean, Belichick. I wouldn't either, but it's I, I couldn't put him on my list because I just don't think he. He would, but I mean, again, it is an option, but Ray, I'm glad we your, all agree. What's your on thought Jimmy. process on Deshaun Watson and Jimmy G landing one, two? Uh, Jimmy G's are more realistic one, just because he, there's always been reports coming out that Jimmy G and Bill Belichick want to have a reunion. So that's why I put that uh, two for Deshaun Watson, just seeing uh, Brady hoist the seventh. Why not get a franchise quarterback in here that you could actually hoist your ninth for Bill Belichick, you know? <clears throat> well, yeah. I mean, look, Deshaun Watson's probably the best. It's probably – it. well, no, it's not probably. He's the number one guy on this list. If you're going to talk about guys that are available in terms of quarterbacks, Deshaun Watson's the guy to get. Um, to, to the point of can they get him? Um, I guess technically you have the Nick Casario ties. For whatever reason, there's a shit ton of rumors with the Patriots and Deshaun Garnett Watson. be a Kevin Garnett deal, baby. Um, so that would probably be your in, but you have to rely on Bill Belichick giving up those assets and paying Deshaun Watson over $30 million and making him the face of your franchise and building a team around him, which the conflicting reports are he doesn't want to do that. And to your point, Ray, you know, you know, he wants his hands on Jimmy Garoppolo. Mm-hmm. You know, he wants to go win with Jimmy Garoppolo. To just and, throw it in crass face and be like, look at I told you this was the guy. Yeah, the ego, no, again, everything, everything you're thinking is about trying to Jimmy. trade for Brandon Cooks, right? We just heard yeah. it this week. The trade for Brandon Cooks, he's wanted Jimmy Garoppolo since 2014. It was always this section plan. So this is it's the most logical option this year because I think Kirk Cousins is going to turn available in Minnesota when they turn for a full re- rebuild there. And Kyle Shanahan will go get his best quarterback that he's had yeah, fucking that, almost and MVPs that's, go. That's the key point. If you're a fan of Jimmy coming to the Patriots, keep your eye on San Francisco. The minute they land a quarterback, Jimmy's coming to New England. That's mm-hmm. that's pretty much that's pretty much how that goes. If San Francisco can, if San Francisco can't get a quarterback, I still call it 50-50. Jimmy uh, stays there. If they can't get a quarterback, I give it a uh, twenty eighty. Or watch them draft in the draft. They're ahead of us in New England. So if they draft a quarterback before uh, New England does, then there you go. I think yeah. What if they want Stefan Gilmore? Chance. There you go, right there. Good chance. And you know they got the John Lynch tie there with that first trade. So there's yeah, they, they good chance Garoppolo's coming back. Too. I'd be okay with that. I don't know how much better it makes you. Okay, this has been the Simple Mind Sports Show Sunday Social Hour Quarterback Carousel Best for the Patriots in some kind of fashion. We're not really sure how it all went down, but we all ended on Jimmy G at number one. So. Um, that's better than Cam Newton, who did not make the list. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.
Bill, you're, are you able to do another one? Oh, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, I'm good. He's firing on all cylinders. I don't yeah, think you're going to like your list, Bill, when you go back and... You know, your list sucks, dude. Your list fucking blows. Babies, 